Hi there, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you're kept up to date on all the latest Tap Titan 2 news. Hi everyone, so it's Gaming here, hope you're well. Uh, we've recently had a update from the devs in the last day. So we've already had a massive drop on update 3.8, which is a whole change of the rogue tree. And just soon after that, there seems to be another update coming for 3.9. So before I go through what has been announced and what we should be expecting soon, uh, quite a couple of big things surprisingly. I thought they'd keep quiet for a while, but it looks like there's hard at it, which is great, keeping us all on our toes. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our sixth dev update. Since releasing version 3.8, we've hard at work here at Game High preparing for a whole slew of features for next patch coming soon. So without further ado, uh, let's get into it. To kick things off, we've got two new raid cards next week. Now, it says the two new raid cards are next week at this section. It says there's other fixtures, uh, there'll be other updates coming for 3.9. So I'm not sure if 3.9 will be updated next week as well, or if it's just the raid cards. But we will find out more in the next couple of days. So firstly, the two raid cards, what are they? So the first one is the Cosmic Haymaker. It's very simple in concept. As you tap, you build up power. And once you gather enough strength, it releases a single massive burst of damage. This card will be extremely consistent and should be a very versatile way of dealing big damage on controlled target areas. So that will be a uh, one hit wonders. So it sounds like stuff like uh, torso only, head only, so probably be additional great damage dealers for those kind of one hit parts. And the second card is Flak Shot, an armor oriented burst card that deals bonus damage to armor and ricochet a second burst onto exposing body parts. So used properly, this card would be very good at dealing tons of damage to armor and exposed body part at the same time. So that sounds like more like a limb part, limb deck maybe. So maybe arms or legs, so when you've got an exposed body part, because sometimes that happens when you do two parts only, then this will be additional damage. So maybe when you do a all damage set and then in a second round of uh, the Titan health, when you've got a mixture of half armor, half exposed body, then use the flak shot. And we have two commonly requested features coming in 3.9. First is the raid retry button. It's something we've been looking at adding in the game for some time now. It's proven to be harder than anticipated, but it's been making its way into Tap Titans 2 version 3.9. That's amazing. So a lot of people have problems with those doing the, the offline methods, so when you started the raid, then you, you just switch off the data, switch off internet, do raid, and then once it's finished, uh, if you did a rubbish run or if it's low damage, then you just reset reset the game, uh, reset the app so that you can redo the run. But if it is good, then you connect back to the internet and it will upload to the server. But with this feature, all that pain and hassle has gone out the window, which is fantastic. So there'll be no excuses for accidentally wrong cars used, wrong part used, or low hits. Everyone should be hitting perfectly, which is fantastic. This will make less mistakes and errors in the clan raids, and we should all progress a lot further. Second quality of life feature we'll be bringing to Tap Titan 2 is locking the header in scrolls menu. This means no more scrolling up and down when upgrading hairy artifacts, e.g. your biomount header will always be anchored at the top of the scroll list. This one has been a long time coming, but voila, speak and you shall be heard. Well done for that, because to be honest, that didn't really come uh, bother me that much or come to my mind, but thinking about it now, that would actually be quite a handy feature to have, be able to have the biomount at the top, uh, always visible, so you can switch at all time. So that is a happy introduction. Now let's get into some new features in 3.9 with the success of a new style of events. We're happy to announce that we're running even more events more frequently between a normal holiday event to keep rewards flowing. Alongside the event schedule, we'll be introducing a new method of completing item sets. So everyone knows it could be a little frustrating trying to get the last bit of RNG for your equipment drops. We're setting up a new feature in Tap Titan 2 where we collect equipment as part of your legendary set. For a limited time, you'd be able to complete all the missed items for sets by spending some diamonds based on how many equipment pieces are still needed. Since we removed equipment from Titan Chest a while back, there's been quite a bit of feedback for alternative ways for reliably earn equipment aside from crafting shards. The new complete set offer will help to control some of the items that drop RNG. So 
that's all that's all for this week there's some exciting news next week coming up on 3.9 so that's where it means at the end it says there's even more news next friday but then it says the raid cards are next week so i'm not sure if all what they mentioned in the update will be coming next week or if it's just the raid cards or it could be just an update but as soon as we know a bit more information i will let you guys know uh, regarding that equipment drop that is fantastic there is all these missing uh, missing sets can be completed now by use of diamonds it's having to farm shards because if you, especially if you're low a beginner stage trying to get to top places in tournaments is extremely hard so your shards can take for example like a month or more to win enough tournaments of shards to complete a set now it should be tons easier because you just use diamonds uh, i do feel that is kind of like another pay to win method because uh, all those people can, who you know those wells that can pay can literally just on the first day buy diamonds and just complete every set for big win so it is good but i think to double edged swords let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments below the one thing i didn't mention is event equipment listed in that one of the biggest things i think they need to address as well is the drop rate for equipment sets some of them are, i don't think are frequent enough even if you do tend to play daily, some people can't play as much as, you know, four, five, ten runs a day. Some people can only play maybe once or every other day. That means there's just literally not enough drops. Uh, for example, we've been weeks since this this grind and I've had so many people still not completing the full lead sets like myself. And it gets situations where like this, when you're in events with only one or two pieces and then you've got to wait a whole year till the event if it's a seasonal event for it to happen again so i'm hoping that the events are included into that which i don't think it is i think it's just legendary but that's something that needs to address address as well event drop sets drop in more frequently but apart from that everything the fact all the changes and the raid cards will be quite interesting so i am looking forward to that as well let me know what you guys think about this update you think it's going to be good and if you are new to this channel like and subscribe and hit that bell notification button i will be releasing tap titans videos frequently and also stream on twitch every sunday and sometimes during the week so hit the bell to be notified when i go live if you've got any questions we're happy to help there i hope you're all healthy and well and i speak to you all soon take care